Good morning, Jeff Roper in the First Alert of Viper Weather Cave, where, yes, our temporary studio will soon be passe. We've got some renovations coming. I'm excited to tell you about that when it shows up, uh, when we get to, to, you know, unveil that kind of stuff. And part of it is my new hairpiece. Let's talk about the forecast. We've got high pressure on top of everything, much like my tube. Uh, we do have some uh, ability to have sunshine around here, and that's the great news. I mean, it, it is nice weather. It's still summer-like weather. Unfortunately, we're covered up with smoke and haze, many of it at different elevations, but we're seeing it flow in from the wildfires. And that's going to continue. At least we don't have those rough, rough winds, which provide even more strength to pull it in, but it is a coverage that we could do without. It's showing up as fog at the sensors at the airport, 46 in Idaho Falls, Believe it or don't, we have a wind chill. Feels like about 42 with eight mile an hour uh, movement to there. Uh, 38 in Jackson, where yet they put out a fire weather watch for that area. And it's 32 in Montpelier Burn. Red flag alerts are in effect for the uh, central uh, part of the state on into the pistol tip and Montana. 52 in Chalice, can't get a reading in Salmon this morning. It's 35 in Island Park. 43, Pocatello with a very little breeze. That's going to change as we head into Thursday late. So we'll see some moisture streaming into the area with the winds changing and a front that will approach late Thursday. We see the front. We start to see the moisture push in. That will help us cool off and dilute some of the smoke. Uh, and, it, you know, we'll, we'll still have to deal with a chance of a shower or thunderstorm. So it's give or take, and that's uh, part of the, you know, wonder of when are we going to see some clearing and some nice weather around here. I think it's going to be the weekend. Things will be cooler. We'll push the winds into Thursday afternoon with a chance of showers and thunderstorms into Friday, and then we're going to cool off into the 70s. So here's the smoke cast as we see it in the future. Things are a bit of, a, you know, touch and go, especially in the western side of the state. Hot spots into the salmon area, and that pushes from uh, the west, and we start to see some of the upheaval of smoke from the uh, south uh, and it pushes into the upper part of the highlands, which gives us a little bit of a break into the southeastern highlands and along the Snake River Plain. It's still something you've got to deal with, so don't put yourself outside for too long with the smoke and the haze and if you have breathing problems, especially those people that are sensitive to it. Some folks may be able to get along with it. Uh, it is hard, though, but you can see it, especially above the horizon. 86 in Soda, 90 in Malad, we know it's there. 78 in Old Faithful. Uh, and we know it's there because we're measuring the particles in the air. I can tell you count by count how many particles have been measured in the air, and that's how we know how to give you the warnings. 88 in Dubois, 88 St. Anthony, 90 in Rexburg, a fire weather warning in effect for the Central Mountains, 95 for Chalice and Salmon, and the air quality into the Rigby and Rexburg areas is worse than it is in Idaho Falls and Blackfoot this morning. It's going to be in the 90s for the afternoon, still 50 overnight, going to be a hot day around here. So. Just be prepared for it. There's a sunrise in IF. Uh, low 90s again tomorrow. We bring in the late day shower chances, moisture around with some cloudy buildup, and a one in three chance of a roving shower or storm. We'll drop the temps about 10 degrees into the mid 70s for Saturday. So there's your relief with some clearing perhaps. Pocatello 93 and 84 for Friday to kick off the weekend. Blackfoot fair weather 90, then 92 on your corn dog, and about 82 for Friday and a 30% chance of storms into the mid-70s for Saturday. The same for Rexburg with cooler conditions and back to the 40s overnight. Salmon has smoke, I see it. 95, windy, and it will be hot into the afternoon again tomorrow. And around 92 degrees uh, and in Jackson, we'll see a 30% chance of storms roving around Thursday and Friday and still warm in the mid-80s back to the 70s for the weekend, Dylan. All right, thank you, Jeff.